All right, we got a Mr. Cool Universal four to five ton heat pump split system. Makes DIY installation very easy with the line set. I'm gonna show you on the inside. You need to install the power, which is a 15 amp circuit, which hooks up right here. These brown and blue wires coming out right here. Thermostat wires going right here. Thermostat simple, you can look up videos on that. And then your line set. This is a DIY line set. Got the larger line, small line, and the connector fittings. I've already installed them here, have not opened the valves. And then the last thing will be our drain. So on the inside, power, thermostat, line set, and drain. And I'll show you the outside. The line set is what makes this setup special. Um, a traditional split system requires a lot of tools and a license uh, to do the line set. You have to braise the copper lines together. You know, that, that involves a torch set, acetylene, and uh, you should be running nitrogen through it. And then you have to have your HVAC license, your refrigerant, and um, your scales. It's a lot of tools and a lot of time. Whereas all you need is a couple crescent wrenches to do this setup. I've already got my power coming here. It only requires 30 amps. So I've got 10 gauge wire that's hooking up right here thermostat right here no drain because it's outside I'm going to show you how to do the line set hookup okay I have already put these on here I'll show you um, you want to support the valve itself and connect them it's very simple you just screw them on um, the big one, I don't think you could really over torque it. The smaller one, however, I think it's possible that you could. So you want to be a little more careful with that one. And you want to get them lined up well. Um, if they're not lined up well, you're asking for trouble. It's a little bit kinked, uh, not kinked, but turned. I don't want to get it started that way. I'm gonna make sure they're lined up. All right. And you want to start this by hand. Because you don't want to cross thread it. Take it as far as you can go by hand. Literally, this is like a five minute process to get this hooked up. You do have to open the valves and make sure it's not leaking. Just using two crescent wrenches. And this is this is effortless right here. Um, only the, the last turn does it really require a little bit of oomph to get it tight. And there are specifications for how tight to do it. I've not, not found that necessary. It does have a long thread length. valve in there 
that only opens up once it gets so tight. The way that um, they accomplish not having to weigh in refrigerant is because they have refrigerant in these lines. Um, now there's refrigerant that's in the system too, but uh, in a typical system, uh, that's the case as well, the outside unit has refrigerant in it. However, the length of the line set will change how much refrigerant you need in every system. So what they did, which is really smart, they have the correct amount of refrigerant in the outside unit, but they have a line set. This one's a 25 foot, you can get 15 foot, 50 foot, I think. The line set has the correct amount of refrigerant in it. So it's, it's all calculated. According to the line set and the line set only opens up when you get these connected down tight it's sort of like a needle valve and the tire only opens when you when you uh, get it hooked up correctly but more precise <laughs> sit and watch the guys as they connected line sets for other systems um, the conventional way. It's quite a process. You know, you're using heat. There's risk for damaging components. All right, so that is hooked up. And now we need to release the refrigerant. into the lines. There's a valve right here that's going to release all the refrigerant from the unit into the lines. Now I have some leak detector. You can probably just use soapy water, um, but you, you need to t check for leaks. And so you just want to get that all over it. Now there's, there's several places it could leak here and up here. So you just want to get it all over just to make sure. This stuff isn't worth being worried about wasting. Uh, just take some Allen wrench. I'm gonna open it all the way up. You're gonna hear it. Keep turning till you can't. anymore okay same thing for your smaller line and I'm gonna have to do this on the inside as well I'm not going to show that but I have not opened the valves on the inside. All right, got them totally open. I'm gonna put these caps back on. Not seeing any leaking at all. And that is how simple it is to install the line set on these systems. Like I said, I've got power, both sides, thermostat, wire, both sides. And now the refrigerant lines installed on both sides. Just a few hours, you can have this guy installed. So this is the Mr. Cool split system. I really like this. It has an inverter too on the compressor and these fans. Very quiet. Normal conventional system. The compressor slams on really loud. These are whisper quiet. All right. 
That's how easy it gets. Anyone can do it. If you can do the electrical, you can do the rest.